Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be creating our application load balancer. Before we create our application load balancer, we have to launch two EC2 instances in the private subnets. And let's go to our EC2 dashboard to do that. So you can now type EC2 in here. You can select services, select EC2, click launch instance, I'm going to launch a new instance. It is going to be Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Select it. It's going to be T2 Micro. I'm going to select this drop down and I'm going to select my demo VPC. On that subnet, I'm going to put it in the private subnet 1 up here. Then we are going to scroll down. On that user data, we are going to paste this script in there. But before we do that, I need to update this EFS information. So let's go back to our EFS. I'm going to right click here, open a new tab, and I'll select my EFS. And I'm going to open it. Now click attach. We want to copy this information, the one in the red. So copy that information of your EFS. And I'm going to open my notepad again. And I'll paste it. Make sure you leave the space in the middle, but you just want to paste it here. So I'll paste it there like that. And there should be a space between these two. Then once you have that, we can now, let me maximize it so you can see. I'll copy all this command. And I'm going to go back to my EC2 and paste it in there. Then I'll click next to add storage. I'll leave that as default. Click next to add tag. I'll give it a tag name. I'll call it server 1A. I'm going to click next to add security group. On that security group, I'm going to click select an existing security group and select your web server security group. Click next to review and launch and launch your EC2 instance. I'm going to select my key pair, acknowledge and launch instance. I'm going to view. So we are launching that instance in the US is 1A. Let's launch another EC2 instance in the US is 1B. So whatever your second availability zone is, launch your EC2 instance in it. I'm going to select the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. I'm going to select the T2 Micro. Select next for configure. On that network, I'm going to click the drop down and select my demo VPC. On that subnet, I'm going to put it in the private subnet 2. Up here, I'll select that. I'll come down here and remember paste your script. So copy this script. I'm going to minimize that and paste it in here. Then click next to add storage. Click next to add tags. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it server 1B. Then we are going to click next for security group. I'm going to select an existing security group. It is going to be my web server security group. Click next to review and click next to launch. Select your key pair, acknowledge and launch your EC2 instance. I'm going to view. We are going to wait for our EC2 instance to be available. Once they are available, we will create our application load balancer. So both of my EC2 instance are now available. So on the left side, scroll down and select load balancer. Click create load balancer. It is going to be an application load balancer. I'll select it and I'll give it a name. It is going to be internet facing on IPv4. The first listener we are going to create is on port 80. We are going to create our listener for port 443 later on. So for now, just leave it on port 80 and we'll come down. Click on this drop down and we want to select our demo VPC. We'll select both of the availability zone we are using. And on that US is 1A, I'm going to select that drop down and you want to put it in the public subnet one. So your application load balancer always has to be in the public subnet. We'll select the public subnet one there. And on that US is 1B, we'll put it in the public subnet two. And we are going to click next to add security group. And this is just warning us that we don't have port 443. 
We are going to set that up later. So click next to configure security group. On that security group, we are going to select an existing security group. Uncheck the default. And we are going to select our ALB security group, which is our application load balancer security group. Then click next for routing. We are going to create a new target group and we are going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it my app server. For the target type is going to be an instance and we are going to leave everything else as default and click next to register targets. On that register targets, we want to select our server 1A and 1B and click add to register. We have registered them to that target group and click next to review and review everything and click create. So I'm going to close this. It is now provisioning our application load balancer. We are going to wait for the state to be active. Then once the state is active, we are going to copy our DNS name for our application load balancer. And we should be able to access our site from this DNS name. I'll give it a couple of seconds to finish doing this. My application load balancer is now active. If I copy the DNS name, then I'm going to open a new tab and paste it in there. And I should be able to access my WordPress site. And there you go. We can now access our WordPress site from our application load balancer. We need to do one more thing. Copy the DNS name for your application load balancer. And now if we press forward slash WP admin, the forward slash WP admin will take you to the admin site. So I'm going to type that. And that's going to bring you to the login page. Enter your information. Login. And once you log in, come down to the settings and under general, click that. Under your URL address, you want to paste the DNS name of your application load balancer in there. I'm going to paste that in there. I'm also going to paste it in here. And once you've pasted it, just scroll down and click save changes and it is going to log you out. So you can sign back in. And once you sign back in, that's all you need to do. And now we have set it up where we can access our WordPress application from our application load balancer. So now let's go back to our EC2 console. And I'm going to select my EC2 dashboard. I'm going to select running instances. And now we can delete our setup server because we don't need it anymore. Select it. I'm going to select instance state. I'm going to select terminate. I'm going to terminate that server. So terminate your setup server, but leave these two other servers because we are going to need it in the next lecture. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next lecture.